live from Orlando, Florida, it's theCUBE. Covering Grace Hopper's Celebration of Women in Computing. Brought to you by SiliconANGLE Media. Welcome back to theCUBE's coverage. We are wrapping up day one of the Grace Hopper Conference here in Orlando, Florida. I'm your host, Rebecca Knight, along with my co-host, Jeff Frick. Jeff, it's been a, it's been a great day. What's, what's been your favorite, what's been your highlight? The highlight was Megan Smith. We were really excited to get her on. We tried to get her on last year. She's a really hard get. She's a super high energy, super smart lady. So she's, um, the, she's the third CTO of the, the US. So, so she's fantastic. I mean, we got to go back and read the tape. And there's probably an hour's worth of material there that we could have followed up on her. So I think she was definitely you know, terrific. Also, of course, um, Brenda, the new uh, president of Anita Borg, and, and to really doing the research on her and understanding what she accomplished at the Chicago Public School System is just phenomenal, something we've talked about time and time again. Are we turning the corner? Do people understand that computer science is a basic thing you need to learn in 2017, like biology, like math, like reading and writing and arithmetic? So I think those are two two terrific uh, points in the day. Yeah, I completely agree. I mean, so, so we've had those veteran women of the technology industry, but then we also had two young up-and-comers on the show. Uh, uh, Yasmin uh, Mustafa, who is the head of Roar for Good, which is a B Corp that makes a wearable self-defense um, tool. And then just now, we had Morgan Berman of Milk Crate, which, make, which does a platform that helps companies and nonprofits measure and grow social and environmental impact. So it's really exciting to sort of see the baton being passed, almost we can almost witness it being right, passed. Right, right, yeah, and it physically is, yes. from Kelly, who we'll, we'll have on Friday, to Brenda, so right. we're absolutely seeing it. Right. The other piece I'm taking away, and you, you're from Boston, um, and, and I hate to do the sports analogy, but I am anyway, right? Most great quarterbacks, Tom Brady jumping out, have a huge chip on their shoulder, mm. right? They were passed up, they were told they couldn't do it, and they continue to excel way more than the, than the fair-haired people that have an easy path. And so many times today we heard about being told I can't do it mm -hmm. and using that, internalizing that as a force to do it. Uh, uh, Deborah, um, the, 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 the physicist, being yes. told by her mom overtly, don't be a physicist, <laughs> right, uh, right. a number of times. Yeah. Um, the Roar story, again, you can't do this. So I think that's such an interesting, even Aaron uh, Yang from Workday said specifically, I want to surprise people. I don't want them to, to know what I'm going to be able to do. Right, right. So really this, this concept of having a chip on your shoulder and taking negative feedback and turning it into a positive spin that you can feed off mm -hmm, of, mm -hmm. really important attribute that I don't think enough people have. They take the hit and absorb the hit instead of taking the hit and saying, I'm going to prove you wrong. Right. This is not applied to me. And I think that's another thing that I did not expect to hear today, but came up over and over again. No, I, I agree, I and mean, I mean, we've also he heard, and this is really the Silicon Valley mantra right now, is fail fast. Right. We've, we've been hearing about redefining failure, and, and one of our guests said, don't even use that word. Make up some sort of safe word for yourself. It's not <laughs> that I failed in that endeavor. It's, it didn't work out, but, but no matter what, you, you cannot be deterred from that. Right, and you, and you got to learn, right? You got to <laughs> learn and you got to move on. And I, 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 I tell people a lot of times, it's kind of like the old sales analogy, right? If, if your hit rate is one out of 10, that eighth call, <laughs> you should be excited about. Right. Because that right. means you're two step, you're almost to number 10. Yeah. Don't be depressed that number eight doesn't go well. Change your attitude. Eight's just one step closer to 10. So grind through one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And it is, it is a real resilience. And that was another thing that came up, right? Is the people that win are not the smartest, they're not the fastest, they're not the most intelligent, but often they're just the most persistent. They just keep getting up, right? The age old, um, saying, you know, give me the wisdom to worry about the things I could control and, and not to worry about the things I can't. It's not what happens to you, it's what you do about it. That's what you can control. You can't, you can't control what happens to you. Right. But do you get up, do you take your hit, do you use it as motivation, do you move to the next step? And then, you know, again, another great theme, just move to the next step and take the next step and that will get you 
where the journey of a thousand miles starts with one step. That's right, that's right. Those are, those are. I'm, I'm clicheing <laughs> out, it's been a long week. <laughs> but this is the largest Grace Hopper ever, 18,000 attendees, 700 speakers, three days. We've got a, another big lineup tomorrow. Right, right. Uh, we start right after the keynotes. We go through till the end of the day. Is there anything you want to highlight to our viewers that you're especially looking forward to tomorrow? Oh, what am I especially looking forward to tomorrow? Um, you know, you know, just another good day. You, you, the, the great thing about this show is you don't really know what you're going to get. I know, get, it's right? true. A it's lot true. of the names you don't know who they are. You don't necessarily know the companies. I think we will have a number of the Women of Vision Award winners, which is yeah. which is always yeah. good. Um, but no, that's it's just such an atypical tech show, yeah. which is why I yeah, love it so, so much. Fun. Exactly, <laughs> and we got to get you warmed up. So uh, right, we got to exactly. get you out. I into know the, it's freezing out in into here. the out it's into so the true. heat. It's so true. All right, well let's wrap it up. Excellent. A great day, Rebecca. A great and, uh, day. It's always, always so much fun to co-host alongside of you. Thanks so for it's, coming it's down. Really good. All yeah, right. Yeah, I'm Rebecca Knight for Jeff Frick. We will have more from Grace Hopper tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Just